Let's go to Matthew chapter 5. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain, and he went, and when he was set, his disciples came unto him. So what is that saying? Jesus Christ went up a mountain, and his disciples followed. Verse 2. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, So Jesus Christ opened his mouth and started to speak. Verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So blessed are people who are humble. So it is a blessing to be humble. So if you want to be more blessed, be humble. Verse 4. My Lord. Okay. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. So this is saying that it is a blessing for people to mourn because they are going to be comforted. Verse 5. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. So here we go again. This is verse 5, and it is pretty much saying the same thing in verse 3. So blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. So humility is a trait, an attribute, that we should adopt. Verse 6. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. So this is verse 6. Let me highlight it. So this is saying, let's say this. Let's say that you have not eaten or drinking anything for two weeks. And you are really going to be hungry and thirsty so much. And you are going to crave something to, something to eat and drink. Right? So in that same way, you have to thirst and hunger after God in that same way. Or more. Like, you are thirsting and hungry to do the right things. Like, you want to do it now like right now <laughs> like you are just crazy about serving God like you want to dive all the way in not one foot in and one foot out like you wanna just dive in there okay verse 7 blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy so you are going to reap what you sow. So when you do something good, good is coming back to you. When you do something bad, bad is coming back to you. So you are going to get what you put out. So if you want to get blessed by God more, what should you do? You should give more. And it don't have to be money all the time. Kindness, mercy, whatever. For instance, you can be merciful in this way. For instance, let's say that someone owes you $1,000 and you see that they are having a very hard time. Then you say to them, hey, you don't owe me anything debt paid whatever that is showing mercy do you have to do that no but the more that you give out whether it is money kindness favors so on and so on the more that you give out the more that you get back because of why you are going to reap what you sow so if you want more Give more out. Give more of yourself out. How can you expect 
something to come in your hands when your hands are like this? How can you receive when your hands are like this? I have ashy knuckles. <laughs> How do you expect... <laughs> How can you expect to receive anything when your hands are like this? You have to open those hands up. So the more you give, the more you get back. Like when you ask for something, do you come to a person and like, hey, I want five dollars. <laughs> they are going to be like, what? <laughs> like, hey, why you? Get your fist balled up. <laughs> when you ask for something, you have to open your hand. Okay. So, if you want, you have to give. And I'm telling you, the more that you give, the more that you give, the easier it is going to be. And you are going to enjoy it. Like with me, I enjoy giving certain things. I am not saying that I'm going to give all my money and everything. No, I am saying that I enjoy to give certain things. Not everything. Now, if I gave away everything, that would be good. But, you know, I have not gotten to that point yet. But close to it, though, I am getting close. <laughs> So, it is a blessing to give than to receive. Does that make any sense? Okay. Where am I? Verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. So this is saying, it is a blessing to be pure in heart. So the only way that you can be pure in heart is if you are following the rules and regulations of the Bible. Because how can you be pure in heart when you're still in sin? Think about that. I'm sinning, but I am pure in heart. What? No. So you have to be following the rules and regulations of the Bible to be pure in heart. It is a blessing. So, so many incentives for doing what God wants you to do. So whoever says that following God is boring, you have not been reading the Bible. So many good things are going to come your way when you follow the Bible. Does that make any sense? I really hope so. Okay. Where am I? Verse 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. So be a peacemaker. Even if it is in your right to say something to say something to a person, even it is even if it is in your right to do something, if it is going to cause chaos, don't do it. Well, you know, I have the right to defend myself and blah blah blah. If it is going to cause more chaos, don't do it. Why are you going to do it? There is a time for everything. Some people are going to fight you no matter if you are right or wrong. So why would you approach that person if you know that if you say something, they are going to be like, what? What? Blah, 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 blah. Don't do that. Be mindful of what you are doing. It does not matter if you have the right to do something. If things are going to turn out wrong, even if it is not a sin. If you know that the situation is going to turn out worse, don't do it. Well, I have the right, Kevin, and I am going to do what I have to do. That is pride. That's pride. Because even when you know that things are going to turn out wrong, but you, but you are still going to do it, that's pride. So that is an issue there. Think about that. 
I have the right to do certain things, but I am not going to do it because I know that bad things are going to come out of it. And I like peace. I don't know about you. I don't like arguing and getting mad at people. Why should I? There is so much bad things happening to me. What are you doing? Usually we do things to cause chaos to ourselves. What are you doing? What are you doing to attract the chaos in your life? What are you doing? Are you doing things that you have the right to do even when it is going to cause more, more chaos? Sometimes we put ourselves in bad situations. Okay. Verse 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So it is a blessing. Let me say this. Let's say that you are doing right toward people. And you are teaching them the word of God and everything like that. And people are treating you wrongly because of that. So from what this is saying, it is a blessing when that happens. It may not feel like a blessing, but it is. So continue to do things of God even when you are being persecuted, even when bad things are happening to you, because it is a blessing. Let's go to verse 11. I may stop there, I think. <laughs> Blessed are ye when men shall revile you. Revile pretty much mean like treating you wrongly, persecuting you, talking crazy to you, you know, backstabbing and stuff like that. Uh, and persecute you, which means the same thing, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. Give me a second. So, blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you for my name or for my sake. I don't know where I got name at. <laughs> but anyways, it is a blessing when bad things are happening to you, when people are persecuting you, when people are talking crazy about you. It is seen as a good thing when bad things are happening to you when you are doing things of God, when you are obeying God, when you are ministering to people about God, so on and so on. When bad things happen to you, when people are talking crazy about you, this is saying that it is a good thing. It is a good thing. It may not feel good, but it is a blessing when that happens. It is a blessing. So really take heed to this. God bless.